Hi everyone and welcome back. So in the last video, we kind of created an assertion library and the testing framework also, right? Uh, why I'm saying is we created this test function and we created this expect also. So here expect this to equals, you can change to anything and you just modify this expect function instead of to be to two equals, right? Now, we also write asynchronous tests. Uh, what that means is sometimes you have async logic, right? And in the describe it, when you use those pair, you can also write async here to execute the asynchronous test case because there you have to wait to get the result. So how we can accommodate that logic here? Okay, so let's say we have this functionality here and we are now going to add just async behavior to these functions. What we can do is we can just write uh, const async add. This is my function name. It is taking the same set of argument. And I can just say it is going to return promise. Promise.resolve and we can call the existing sum function passing a and b. Now to test this function which is async, right? What we need to do first we will export it here so that we can import in the addition function. Now what additional change we have to do? So I will just wipe this thing out. We can still keep the test and expect function. Okay, let's say we are here. Now this test function we are going to test the async add utility. Right, so we are going to call async add. Now here the important catch is this async add is async function, right? So we have to wait for the promise to be resolved. So we'll convert it to await and await can be wrapped only inside async function. We have to convert this test function into async. So async function test and we have to await for this callback. So what we will do is await callback. If everything is fine, the expect uh, this is fine, like we just change it to equals. Then we just replace the expect dot equals because expect function is returning an object and we are accessing two equals function property. Okay, so this is how we can convert the sync test cases to asynchronous test case by just using async. Right now we can test n number of uh, iterations testing the sum function and happy path this can be your happy path here I'm saying is 1 and 2 should be expected should be 3 and that should come out as a true here I'm, I want to fail this test okay we can write one more function here to not equals right To not equals that means it, it should return error whenever both are coming as equal right so here I can say to not equal expected so this should te this test case this test case should pass if both are not equals this is what we are expected right the result should not be equal to the expected if this is fine if this is fine, then it will not throw error. It, that means our test case will pass. Now we can just simply run this. We are just testing a sync add. Two equals, two not equals. No test. Right? Both test cases are passing because we are doing everything correct. This test case will fail if I just make the equals false. Right? This test case is failing now you can see this symbol we can also console.log error right so this is how we are writing the basic assertion library basic testing framework and this is just to understand how we do the testing why we do, te do the testing we are writing utility functions single unit testable functions and then we might be using jasmine mocha chai all these assertion libraries which provides us n number of functions. Currently we have written is equals, is to not equals. There, there, there are a lot many functions which can do deep equals object, 
which can compare the variables, objects, which can even compare the content of an object, can ch check about a particular property in an object. So th that is the responsibility of assertion, assertion library like Chai we have, right? So this just to give you the basic understanding how to write tests, how you can write your own test framework, uh, your own test assertion library. And really the test works like this. The only thing is there we might be using describe it using Jasmine before each, before all, uh, right? After each, after all. And uh, these kind of uh, groups you might create using describe it sections, okay? So this is about the asynchronous testing using the simple testing framework. Now we will start with Jasmine, okay? What is Jasmine, how we use it because Jasmine was popular framework. Nowadays still it is being used but there are other popular libraries are available right now. Okay, uh, thanks everyone.